I learned so much more from it. And it was fun um, doing something on technology and then comparing it to what's actually there in front of you. Like, I know some people use pictures and Enigma picture code. And then when they looked at it there, they could actually see it there yeah. and look really close. And they had to discover the adaptations by themselves. Like the um, QR code would say, what is an adaptation of this plant? And show them a picture. Then they'd go find the plant, look at it, observe it, feel it. And then they'd say, oh, I think they have waxy leaves. So that could mm. be an adaptation. And they knew those ad adaptations from the PowerPoint. From right. earlier on, right. so they just right. remembered all that. Mm. All so they together. were making those connections yeah. back as well. Yeah. They're applying the knowledge. Definitely outside, because I think outside you, you're more in a relaxed environment. I think you know, you know, you're not you, with an outside. I feel you're not going to you, you don't get what you expect to come. You get something surprising, and then it's different. With like, you know, simple as an activity that we were doing, where you had to be outside to use the environment. Even just digging, you know, I mean, they could see what was happening. And then you just add to that, and that was it. And then, and the, and the outside environment is, I mean, most people would feel is just a brighter area. You feel more relaxed, and then just bring that on board with your learning. I, I believe it sh wouldn't be as, we've been in a classroom environment for a long time, and being in a classroom environment, we're not really enjoying it as much as being outside, but we can explore. It's like a diverse environment. Um, the kids can, like, explore do whatever they want, and as long as they learn, and yeah. Taking them to the environment outside, well, we, we actually got them to look at some animals that were in the environment, so that is that means that we took them out to the real world, so we basically applied this content to the real world, so they understand further what we want them to learn, so I think that helped, helped along as well. So like instead of looking at images or like PowerPoints or videos, they can actually go outside and discover what they are mm. for themselves? Well they actually, because we were doing regeneration propagation and they were able to go in the bush, that little bush, and um, they were able to see like you know by their own eyes and touch it like you know mm -hmm. what that is and everything so that really really showed them and helped them and understand what we were talking about. Mm -hmm. It's good as well because everything that they learned from the lamb sequence they then took them outside and they were able to apply everything that they learned in like a real life situation which is really nice.